friend, thanks for taking the time. A couple of tough losses on the road last week, Utah State and New Mexico. A lot of adversity faced by your team as well. Tell me about it. Yeah, a lot of adversity, a lot of life lessons. Coaching staff always puts together what your best case scenario is and your worst case scenario. This was 10 times worse than our worst case scenario. Dropped two games and had two re-injuries and three new injuries. So started the weekend with 20 players, finished the weekend with 15 players. But I tell you what, they're strong women. They rise. They're not going to be victims. They get out there and they fight, and that's what they did through all 90 minutes in both games. Yeah. Uh, it also, as we like to talk about, opportunities. So now these younger players that you've been excited about that have been getting a little bit of playing time now are forced into getting a little more playing time. Is that a, is that a bright spot? That's a bright spot. It's an opportunity weekend. We've got to restructure our lineup. Uh, there's going to be uh, five new players that got to figure their way into that. And uh, we've got to put that together in a few days to get ready for CSU this weekend. CSU, Friday, Wyoming, Sunday. So it's the, the closer rivals here in the Mountain West Conference. What do you know of those teams? How are they doing? Obviously, you beat Wyoming here. This is the first time for women's soccer playing both teams as you go through the schedule. So boy, does that change things at all? Uh, it changes it quite a bit. You've gotten a chance to see your opponent. Now you look at how you can make adjustments based on that first game against them. Uh, CSU is coming back from an unfortunate uh, some positive COVID testing. Uh, but this whole spring has been crazy for everybody. Look at March Madness. 14 million people put in their brackets. And by the end of the first two days, zero were left. So it's just... It's just a weird thing. It's, an, it's a chance for individuals to rise up and say, I'm going to deal with my circumstances and I'm going to go out and compete. And that's what we're going to do this weekend. Is that the message? I mean, I, when, when you look and you see, you know, injuries happening and, and uh, you know, unfortunate incidents happening in games, these are all learning for your team, learning not just for soccer players, but as leaders in, 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 our, in our country, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gutted for those seniors that, you know, they've been holding this team together through this whole pandemic, and to have three of them go down like that, that's just, that's tough. But, the, but they, kept a, they kept a positive attitude, cheered everybody else on, and just pressed forward doing whatever they could to contribute to the team. All right, we'll see how it plays out. CSU and Wyoming this weekend. Larry Friend, good luck. Thanks.